Carolyn Doobie here and today I am playing with a junk mail envelope and a stencil because I had just a bunch of paint left on my palette and I needed a fast fun way to use some of it up. Well I grabbed a stencil and I'm going to put this right on top of this junk mail envelope that I've got that of course isn't lying flat because well it's this crumpled up used um, junk mail envelope. So what I'm going to do to help the stencil stay flat is I'm going to use that palette knife to kind of hold it down while I hit it with some spray ink. And this spray ink is from Deco Arts, so this is going to be a permanent spray ink. It's not going to bleed and run on me. And I've got a lot of juicy ink all over there, which is gonna give me a great impression for the stenciling, but I don't wanna waste all that ink, so I am gonna flip it over, and I'm just gonna take the cleanup or reverse print of this, roll that paper towel over it, that way I get all the ink captured on the paper and nothing gets wasted. It was a hard choice for me to decide which side I wanted to play around with today, but this is the one that won in the end. And my goal here is to use up a bunch of leftover paints on my palette, so I'm just grabbing one of those colors and very loosely painting around things. To those of you that have seen a lot of my videos or follow me over on my blog at acolorfuljourney.com, I know you're not shocked at all that I'm not staying within the lines or that I'm not being precise in any way, shape, or form about this. If this is your first time seeing one of my videos, if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, you'll see more of my crazy color play. And you can also find out more about me over on my blog at acolorfuljourney.com where I have a free newsletter with a downloadable PDF and downloadable video waiting for you called Three Ways to Thwart the Inner Critic. Well, here comes the oops, the outstanding opportunity presenting suddenly. I had planned to alternate colors on these cars so that no two colors were in rows next to each other. But you know what, if I'm gonna think that way, I maybe need to kind of plan out how I'm doing my colors because it left the two middle rows without a color. So those two are now gonna be like each other and I've completely changed the plan. Well, that window is just screaming for something and I wanna put a word in there. And the word I want to put in there is sightseeing. But do I really want to spend time doing stuff carefully or thoughtfully with paint? No, I'm just going to hit it with the spray ink. And of course, I don't want to waste any of that ink that is right there on the stencil. So I'm just going to put another index card right on top of that to mop up the ink. And now I've got all these words on that paper and I really just wanted the one. So with a similar color, I'm just going to kind of paint around it. Well, some of that paint went right on the eye in the end, so that's a big old oops, but it is an opportunity because that's what encouraged me to grab one of the Pico embellishers, and now I'm just going to trace over the letters, and that's going to make them stand out more, even if there is some paint kind of smearing on it in places. Well, I gave this time to dry, and of course my cheap little um, index card there warped a little bit, so I just kind of straightened it out, tuck that in there, I can tape that into place if I want it to stay right there, and now my envelope is all finished. A little more color to it than it had to start with. If you've enjoyed this video, you know I'd love it if you subscribed. Thanks for being a part of this colorful journey.